Google has been rolling out a lot of updates to its Gemini models and its Gemini integration inside of Google Workspace. So it's been uh, at least a month or two since I gave these features a run through. So I'm going to do it very quickly today on this rendition of AI in five. So what's going on, y'all? If you're new here, thanks for tuning in. My name's Jordan. I do a daily live stream podcast and free daily newsletter, um, helping people learn and leverage AI to grow their company and their career. All right. So uh, I, I haven't tested this in a while, but I did see a couple new updates and product announcements on Google's website. One of these things called uh, smart features, uh, which apparently gives Google Gemini and Google Workspace uh, more access to your data, right? So for me, I never care, right? Like, hey, Google, you have my access or you have my data anyways. Microsoft, you have my data. Everyone has my data. So um, I don't care. I turn these on. So I, I didn't get like a pop-up. So I don't know if I do have these new uh, smart features that were just announced, uh, but I did go into... Uh, my settings, and it looks like I have this smart features and personalization, and I have it toggled on. So I'm not sure if it's actually here or not. So uh, if I do get this pop up later, I'll redo this video. But I know it's been uh, a couple of months since I gave Gemini Workspace uh, an actual uh, run through. So I wanted to do it quick. Uh, so maybe you use uh, Google Gemini. Uh, maybe you don't, but if you have a Google Workspace account, uh, the Gemini add-on is a monthly fee per user. Uh, I believe it's between uh, 20 and $30 a month. I, I feel it changes. I should know. I pay for it. Um, so this, I am in my, uh, my uh, Gemini Workspace account, my work email. What's weird is I also pay for uh, Gemini in my personal Gmail, and for whatever reason, I have way more features and access inside there, uh, but I thought it'd be a little bit easier to do this demo here. All right, so uh, if you don't know, you will need to, like I said, subscribe or your company will have to subscribe you um, and uh, enable these features for all users as well. All right, so you'll see I have this little Ask Gemini thing up there in the uh, upper right-hand corner. It's also going to appear whenever I'm reading uh, an email. It's just always there, right? Uh, also, some new features. Uh, I can click Compose. Uh, this isn't actually uh, super new, but then there's the help me write feature and it can reply to emails as well, uh, right? So I just am searching for guest pitches, right? Uh, this is my accelerant email and my other email. That's where I get uh, all of my cold pitches for people to come on the Everyday AI show. Um, and then this here, what I'm searching for, this is after they've already filled out a form. So we get pitched, I don't know, 20, 30 times a week. Um, so I'm going through guest forms right now. So I could go in here when I'm reading an email, you know, I can click reply. I can click this, help me write. Um, and then, you know, I can just say, you know, uh, tell them no, right? Click create. It's going to uh, look at the context of that. Uh, you know, it's saying, thanks for submitting. Unfortunately, we're not able to accommodate. I can click insert and then I can send that if I want to. I'm not going to send that, uh, but just, just so if you haven't really used uh, Gemini a ton, uh, that, that, that is super helpful, especially for longer email threads. Uh, before that was there, I would just have to copy and paste that uh, into something like Claude. I actually liked Claude for that. Uh, it usually did a pretty good job, sometimes better than chat GPT. Uh, so anyways, at any time, you can kind of go up there and click uh, Gemini. So uh, there's kind of some pre-prompts, uh, some pre-made prompts. Uh, you can click this more, uh, more suggestions as well. Uh, so one thing uh, I'm just going to do, so I'm going to give it some context because it doesn't really know any context. So I'm just saying, and I'm going to run this prompt in real time. One thing I don't like or understand. Anytime you copy and paste something in this little Gemini sidebar, it has all this extra spacing, uh, which I don't understand. That's not the text I copied. I just copied this only. No paragraph before or after. A little UI UX quirk, but whatever. So I'm just saying I run Everyday AI, a daily live stream podcast to help non-technical business leaders grow their companies and careers. Based on my emails, please give me five of the best guests who have pitched to be on the show over the last three months. Uh, so now it says just a sec. Also, you can at any time, you can click the at button and mention uh, certain files or um, you know, certain programs, right? So I can have it, you know, quote unquote, check my calendar. All right, so here we go. So it looks like uh, the chief scientist at IBM uh, pitched to be on the show. Uh, someone from Tableau, uh, probably have them on soon. Someone here from ZK Candy, 
don't know what that is. All right. So, uh, you, you know, some, some I've heard of, some I haven't, but uh, this is accurate. So that's good because I've tested this before and it isn't always very accurate. All right. So I can click there and there's all the sources. Um, I'm not sure why it gave me a delivery status notification as one of the sources, but that's fine. Uh, one thing I wish you could do here is uh, change the sidebar width. Uh, at least for me, it's a little annoying. Uh, I like to, you know, sometimes zoom in uh, a lot, uh, but then I can't really read a ton here. So uh, although Google and Gemini are usually great with uh, UI UX, this is a small thing, not a huge fan of. It's a little um, not very customizable, but it's more accurate because it was very not accurate previously. Uh, so I'm going to try a couple follow-up prompts. I'm going to say, uh, uh, any exciting startups pitch since October. All right. And then next, I'm going to have another prompt ready. I'm just going to run these through, make sure they're accurate. See, I paste it in. It takes up all the space. A little finicky. All right. But let's see. I just, uh, again, first I'm looking for accuracy, right? So I'm looking at these. These these all look uh, pretty accurate. I recognize some of them. You always want to make sure uh, Gemini is not hallucinating. So I'm saying, make me a bullet point list of the biggest companies in the U.S. that have pitched recently. Example: Microsoft, IBM, etc. Uh, I I, I want to see if Gemini can understand the difference between random companies and big companies. So it says the only big U.S. company mentioned in the emails that has pitched recently is Tableau. Not correct, right? Because up here, you know, uh, you clearly saw in this other one someone from IBM. So uh, not great yet. So not um. It's not hallucinating. It's just not doing a good job at understanding the context of what I'm asking. So uh, let's try one more. I'm going to say, um, what companies have reached out to ask me to speak or train their teams? Okay. Uh, so again, we're doing this all within the Gmail interface. I, I wish there was a way, uh, maybe there is, no, no, there's not. I wish there was a way to kind of split this screen uh, because even if I collapse this, it's, it's still, I want more room to work uh, with Gemini. Um, so let's see, Spirant, AdWorld reached out. So yeah, some of these are old and it didn't do a good job. I know there's a lot of, um, very recent ones, uh, that aren't up on here. Uh, so yeah, did an okay job, but it missed a lot of big ones. So interesting. All right. So now let's jump over to Gemini. So this is improved. Here's the other thing. I don't know why I've complained about this all the time. Uh, I don't know why I don't have a model selector on my uh, personal Gmail account. I can choose, right? I can go one Gemini 1.5, Gemini 2.0, uh, you, you know, Gemini um, Flash. I can do Gemini Deep Research. Here it's just as Gemini Advanced. I don't know if I'm using the, the one from last May, from August, one of the December updates, I have no clue. Google, please fix this. I don't know why. Uh, so uh, what a lot of people don't know, you can go here in your settings, go to extensions. Again, if you're on a workspace account, you just might see this only. On my personal uh, Gmail, that is also a paid account. I, I, I have you know options for YouTube. I have so many different things. Uh, so I'm not sure why uh, if you have a workspace account, uh, you know, you only have access to this. I'm not sure. Anyways, I'm going to try running the exact same prompts. So I know that you can at mention uh, your Gmail, right? But I'm actually going to try it without and see if it still does a good job or if it knows, if Gemini knows, right? So it automatically, you see, that's good. It's accessing my emails right then and there. All right. So uh, that's good. You don't even have to at mention a certain email. All right, so it's going through. Let's see if it does a good job. So it says, based on the emails, here are the five best potential guests. Uh, again, it kind of did a similar. Okay, I see some. Uh, I see some different ones here than I did when running it in Gemini. Right? Uh, it, it, this is generative AI. You're going to get something different every single time. So you know, you you might be thinking, oh, it's not the exact same. You know that you got uh, the, the not the exact same results that you got when you asked inside your Gmail. Well, it's generative AI, right? I could do the exact same thing in uh, my Gmail five times and probably get you know two different results, maybe four different results. Maybe it's different every single time. Uh, but uh, good because previously I had had issues with this. All right, so let's try one more thing. Uh, I'm going to try. Let's see. Okay, so I can't. I thought I could mention specific files uh within here uh 
I know I can do that in other interfaces. So uh, that's interesting. So as an example, I have this sheet up that I'm going to go show you guys. It's just called YT Sheets 2. All right. So I'm going to go at, uh, yeah, I, I, I can't do that. So that's interesting. Uh, I wish you could talk to individual uh, apps or sorry, individual files, but it looks like you can only mention apps. Not a huge fan of, especially when I go in uh, to, um, let's see if I can do it here. So anywhere else, when I click the at button, I can talk to individual files. So here in Gmail, I can talk to an individual file, right? When I'm in Google Docs, I can go to individual files, Google Sheets, individual files. Not sure when I'm in Gemini, I can't talk to individual files. That's important because I, no joke, I have tens of thousands of files inside of my Google Drive. So not super helpful if I can't have fine-tuned control over it. Uh, it you know, this is, I think, something big that's missing. I'm still going to try the prompt. Uh, so I'm going to say, um, uh, make me a bullet point list of the biggest companies in the U.S. that have pitched recently. So here, hopefully it understands the context and I don't have to re-explain it. It should. Uh, Gemini usually does a pretty good job of that. Uh, there we go. It, make, it made me a bullet point list. Although I'm not sure why it's giving me companies that haven't pitched, right? So it says Salesforce, no recent pitches from Salesforce were found in your emails in the last three months. Okay. Well, just find other big companies that have pitched then, right? Uh, so I don't know why it gave, like, I'm looking at this list. I know a bunch of companies that have pitched to be on the show that are huge companies and aren't on the list. So I'm not sure why it just decided here's five uh, and this one didn't, it should have included other big companies that have pitched to be on the show. Uh, so it is, let me, so again, some inaccuracy. So it, here it says no recent pitches from IBM, right? We're found in your emails. Yet when I go here, this person did pitch, right? The chief scientist at IBM, uh, or, you know, one of their representatives pitched, uh, Ruchir to be on the show. Uh, so, uh, incorrect there. So Gemini gets a little strike. All right. So uh, again, I'm not doing a full in-depth review of Gemini. It's obviously a very capable model. I am just looking at the workspace integration and seeing if this new smart feature uh, has been rolled out, right? This smart feed, uh, smart smart feature setting that is supposed to give users increased choice and control. I don't know if it's actually rolled out. I did have that setting. Some things work better than when I first tested Gemini Workspace on this channel like two or three months ago. Some things still don't work that great and aren't super accurate. All right, let's just quickly go in here. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try running the same prompts, but in Google Docs. All right, so I'm gonna say now, so in Google Docs, you know, I can't actually just uh, mention different app names. It's only different files, right? Uh, so that's not super helpful, but let me just see if it can still do it. Um, so I'm going to give it context first. All right. So I'm saying I run everyday AI a daily live stream podcast, whatever. I already did this. Uh, so even though I can't at mention my Gmail, uh, which in Gemini, you can only at mention, uh, you know, essentially Google workspace apps, uh, where, Conversely, you can't mention the apps inside of apps. All right, a little confusing. Uh, but still, this is important to know. So uh, the kind of Gemini sidebar here, even though I can't at mention Gmails, it can obviously still read and understand my Gmail. All right, so here we go. So now I'm going to say, write me, uh, let me see. I'm just going to copy and paste this here. So I'm saying write me uh, write a very short email to each and ask what value they can add to our audience. All right. Uh, then if I want to, I should be able to insert this into the Google doc, copy and paste, send it over to, um, you know, the, the emails inside of Gmail as well, but let's just quickly make sure that Gmail does a good job. Uh, at least in here, in this version of Gemini, I can, uh, expand it. I might have to try that again, but let's just see. All right, there we go. So yeah, it did a good job. Um, actually this isn't that great, uh, because I don't know if it's truly reading and understanding because they've already pitched to be on the show. So I would not want to say I'm reaching out to see if you'd be interested in appearing as a guest because they literally already pitched to be on the show. Uh, so not, not that great. Um, not that great in this instance. So, uh, did it connect to my Gmail to understand that these guests 
uh, have pitched? Yes. Did it carry that context over into the next prompt or its next output? It doesn't look like it did. Uh, it's it's just now just writing general uh, general content there. So not the best. Anyways, all right, let's go last but not least into Google Sheets. All right, so I'm just going to click some of these pre-made uh, charts here. I'm going to say uh, generate a chart using this data. So this is all uh, some older data that I exported from my YouTube channel just to have, you know, a big chunk of data that's good to work with. Uh, a lot of um, a lot of data here. So I'm just saying generate a chart using this data. Uh, again, when I first used uh, Gemini inside of Google Sheets, it was pretty bad, right? I asked it to do basic data calculations didn't work. All right. So I'm going to type up a prompt while I'm waiting for this. I'm going to say, uh, please give me the five best videos in terms of, um, you know, average view duration and total views. I don't know. That should, that should be easy enough. Right. All right. So, uh, right. Let's see if it, uh, generated a chart. It said the data appears to contain each row. Okay. Given the variety of metrics available, we will create a bar chart. Okay. Uh, show code. All right. So now, uh, cool. It ran the Python. Uh, I can extend this out. Top 10 videos by view. Pretty good job. Let's see. Uh, I can insert it and I can click preview. Okay. Not terrible. It didn't label all of them. Um, so not sure how helpful it is, but it at least made an attempt, which is better than uh, last time. So let's try one more. I'm saying, uh, please give me the five best video views in terms of average view duration and total views. It's technically two different metrics. Uh, so let's see how Gemini might handle this. And while we're waiting, I'm going to double check. Yeah, I don't know why. I can't. It doesn't look like you can extend the Gemini sidebar here, uh, where in the other uh, areas, it looks like you can, which I like and enjoy. Uh, but for whatever reason, uh, I can't do it um, inside of Gmail. All right. So let's see. All right. So here it says, it says the top five videos in terms of average view duration and view totals are as follows. Um, let's see, it said average view duration, average view duration and views. So I don't think that's right. Um, because I did, well, I asked for total views as well. Uh, so I would have thought that it would have found a combination of those that had a lot of views and a average, a good high average view duration, but it looks like it just did average view duration. And these views, I mean, uh, yeah, these are super old that no one even watched. So didn't do a great job. Uh, all right. I hope this was helpful. So uh, here's here's my um, my quick takeaway. Uh, I Again, I don't know if this is actually out in the wild. I didn't get a popped up or a prompt, but I did check my settings uh, and it was on and toggled on. Uh, so maybe Google Gemini for Workspace will get better soon. Uh, still not super helpful, right? Um, I do wish... Inside Google Gemini, you could talk with specific files. Uh, I do wish within works, but workspace apps, right? I could at mention like Gmail. I can't. Um, I'm sure there's reasons, but some of these things just aren't super intuitive. Uh, so although it has improved the Gemini uh, integration into workspace apps, has approved since you know I first looked at it, you know, a couple of months ago, I still don't think it's ready or the big time, at least not yet. It struggles with understanding context uh, when you're prompting iteratively. Uh, you, you don't have a lot of granular control, especially when you are uh, within the Gemini um, the, the Gemini interface here. It's great. You can talk to your apps, right? I can talk to my uh, calendar and, and things like that. Um, maybe I can't anymore. I don't know why it's not. Uh, yeah, yeah. So anyways... Uh, is it the, the the best thing since sliced bread? No. Uh, is it better than not using it? Sure. Uh, but again, you always have to double check uh, for accuracy because even in some simple uh, prompts, it didn't do the best job. All right. That's it. I hope this was helpful. If so, please let me know. Do you want to see more Gemini stuff on this channel? Do you want to see more Microsoft Copilot, ChatGPT, Claude? Let me know, uh, please. And if you haven't already, go to youreverydayai.com, sign up for the free daily newsletter, and I'll see you back for another AI in 5 or AI in 19. Thanks, y'all.